What's up everybody, Red Thorn here. Before I get into our weekly Friday night video, I've got a question for you. And that question is, as you can see here, this button. We all know what this, where this button is. I don't know what this button does. Yes, I get it. It says open all. I think it's a little bit more complicated than that. My question is, what exactly does it open? All right, because there's, there's multiple types of boxes that this thing could open. Uh, the first one being is this one, the box with the check mark. This is called a selection box. Does it open these and only these? If it does open only these, does it actually allow you to select an item before it moves on to the next box? Or does it select one for you, like the first thing that's on the list before it moves on to the next box? And then there's this box, which is what I call a random loop box. Does it open only this one? Does it open both of them? Does it break the game when you open up uh, multiple boxes, whether they be selection or random loot boxes? I've got a video that I want to do. I don't want to use, I want to use this. I don't want to test it out because I don't want to run the risk of having all my work wiped out by this button. I have heard from some people say that this thing is not worth it or that it it does bad things quote bad things most of the people in fact all the people who have told me about this thing have said that they don't know anything about it and, and i guess people just don't get that much in the way of loot to justify using this thing which kind of sucks for me because i really really want to know how this actually play will play out when i use it so if anybody knows anything about it and they have used it before, please put a comment in the description below or send me a direct message on Discord letting me know how this thing actually works and whether or not it's worth it because it could mean the difference between a 5 minute video and a 55 minute video. No kidding. But let's get this video started. So welcome back everybody. Red Thorn here, bringing you Fortress Siege number 60. That's 60 here in Lineage 2 Revolution. Let's go. Okay, so there are quite a few fights going on this weekend. Holy moly. I took a poll of six. I know there was probably seven or eight actual real fights. Real being the operative word here. Here's one of them, Adorexy versus Royal Club. That one is, so as you can see from this picture here, it won the poll, but it actually did not win the poll. People continued to vote after I, I had already said that the poll had been closed and they continued to vote. Mind blowing in that right there. Looking at CP difference between the two, I guess it could be a, a decent fight. I don't know. It didn't win, unfortunately. The one that won was Oblivion versus uh, Fira. That one, I'm not sure that's going to be worth watching because that is a 50 million CP difference. And then there was these other ones. The closest one, and I'm going to show you their CP difference, is Ass Slappers versus Andromeda. You are looking at a two, what, 2.2 million combat power difference between the two clans. You can't say that about any of these other fights that are that were put up there in the poll. So despite the fact that Oblivion versus Fear won, I'm not going to do that one. Sorry, everyone that voted for them. That one doesn't look like it's going to be worth anything. Ass Slappers. Versus Andromeda. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call Ataraxi to win that particular battle. I'm going to call Oblivion to win their battle. Uh, I'm going to call Redemption to win theirs. Transcendence to win theirs. I can't call this one. This one's very close. Let's see what was paid. This is for an S-grade fortress. Ass slappers. 245. I said S-grade, didn't I? Wow. A-grade. A-grade fortress. 245 million for Adena. That is super high for an A-grade fortress. Let's head into the battlefield before we actually head in. Let's take a look at their leaders. Biatch, leader of Andromeda. Great name. Fantastic. Spines, leader of Ass Slappers. Let's head into the battlefield. Andromeda in the blue on the top. The defenders. Ass Slappers in the red on the bottom. The attackers. We will be following the attackers as I always do. Good luck to both teams. I'll see you at the th at the uh, ten second mark. Ten seconds before we begin. Five seconds before we begin. 
And here we go. Fortune Siege number 60. Andromeda defending against as Slippers. Andromeda part of the resistance, I believe. As Slappers part of party on. On the team, able to get anything going for their respective imprints. And Slappers tried, interrupted, trying again. Interrupted. Andromeda not able to get anything going. As Slappers trying again. Andromeda finally getting something going there. Interrupted. As Slappers trying again. Interrupted at the halfway mark. Both teams trying. Andromeda interrupted. Ass slappers. Halfway mark. Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. Ten. Oh, wow. Like a friggin' baby's pubic hair of time left. And they were interrupted. That couldn't have gotten any closer than that. Andromeda in interrupted. Ass slappers. Over halfway again. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, 10% buff in the next three minutes for Ass Slappers. Andromeda interrupted at the halfway mark. Trying again. Interrupted it again. I was just about to say, where are the ass slapper people? Ass slappers tried to get Andromeda's, unable to do so. Got fights all around this. Ass slappers hanging around the fountain rather than making any kind of serious push to push out Andromeda. I, I don't know what they're doing. Andromeda just not able to get that 10% buff despite the fact that they have a ton of blue players up here. Or had a ton of blue players. How are these towers looking? Doesn't look like anybody's going to get anything out of that. This one is... Or has been damaged. Get up, Tyrael! These haven't even been damaged yet. Tyrael's still sitting there! There you go. Jamina. Two seconds, one second. Oh man, God, that's gotta hurt. Team's defense tower has been destroyed. Was that a and ass slappers ten percent buff is gone. That was a defensive tower of the spawn side of Andromeda. Ass slappers. 10% buff for the next three minutes again.
Ass slappers. Over halfway towards that 30%. Interrupted. Looks like Andromeda. Trying to get through that non spawn gate of ass slappers. Did they just give up on trying to get the 10% the buff? The red team's gate has been destroyed. And there goes the non spawn the gate of ass slappers. That is not a gate you want to give up in the beginning of the battle. The spawn gate. And that is a gate that they... Have not given up yet. Now that was on the non-spawn side. <laughs> Ass slappers trying to break through both gates. Well, having said all that, and I haven't been here, but if I was Andromeda, well, maybe they are trying to get in here and get some time. And Ass Slappers is not allowing that to happen. And there goes the spawn gate of Andromeda. 30 seconds remaining in Ass Slapper's 10% buff. Andromeda just not able to get anything going on this altar imprint. Andromeda going for both now. Interrupted on ass slappers. Still going on their own. Interrupted on their own. Andromeda over halfway on their own. Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. Finally! 10% buff for the next three minutes for Andromeda. Tables have turned a little bit here now. Are we going to see the same thing happen again? But this time to Andromeda. They're going to spend three minutes trying to get a 30% buff. I can't believe Andromeda's leader hasn't even bought... Have they even tried to come in here and get a point one second of Holy Artifact imprint time? I don't think they have. Maybe Ass Slappers is doing a good job of preventing them from doing just that. There goes, was that the non, that was the non-spawn gate of Andromeda. Both gates are down now. A lot of options for ass slappers. The there we go. Andromeda has finally started to 
try to get some imprint time. And they did. They got quite a few seconds there. And they are taking down this Holy Artifact defense tower quickly. And there goes the Holy Artifact defense tower number one of Ass Slappers. Giving a little breathing room to Biatch. Who was laying on the ground. Taking a little breather. Andromeda's 10% buff is about to expire. Just in time for what? Ass Slappers to get their 10% buff. And 2, 1, 10% buff. The next 3 minutes for Ass Slappers just as Andromeda's ran out. Now we're back to the beginning of the battle. Jamina, 717 kills and counting versus Ass Slappers, 457. The red team has started imprinting the Holy Artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the Holy Artifact. The red team has started Oops. imprinting the Holy Artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the Holy Artifact. Interesting. Wow, I'm trying to get up there. Somebody keeps reviving. The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. I mean, they killed that person like three or four times. Anybody's guess right now who The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. Anybody guess? Anybody's guess who who's winning in holy artifact imprint time right now? Ass Slappers trying to get that 30% buff, and they have done so for the next 40 seconds. The first 30% buff of this battle came at a little over 16 minutes in. Or, you know what I'm saying. Both the Holy Artifact Defense Towers and Jamina are about to go down. The Altar of Wind has been reset. And Jamina going for Ass Slappers Altar very briefly there. We are halfway through this battle at the 15 minute mark.
destroyed. The blue team's defense tower has been destroyed. Both the holy artifact defense towers have now been taken out. For Andromeda. Ass slappers with 20 seconds remaining in their 10% buff. And there goes their 10% buff. Slapper's going for both. Interrupted on Andromeda. Still going on their own. Interrupted on their own. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The blue team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The blue team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. <laughs> The red team's defense tower has been and there goes the other holy artifact defense tower of ass slappers they still have a spawn gate up the blue team has failed to imprint the holy artifact the red team has started imprinting the holy artifact the blue team has started imprinting the holy uh -oh. artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. Jamina got it to the 15 second mark. Ten. The red team Nine. has started imprinting Eight. the holy Seven. artifact. Six. The red team has Five. failed to imprint the holy artifact. And Jamina. And congratulations to Andromeda for successfully defending their A grade fortress. Congratulations to Gresh for taking number one overall. Here are your stats. Not a bad fight uh, for an A grade. Seemed a little chaotic, but uh, eventually Andromeda... I don't think they ever got a 30% buff. Looks like they actually never needed it. Dash is there on uh, Ass Slapper's side. And there are your stats. Let's see how everyone else did. I bet you have Redemption won. Yep, they sure did. Transcendence won. Not a shocker there. Anoraxi Royal Club. Uh, oh, and that spectator list is full. So, good luck to those two teams. The Potatoes won. Impact won. Dynasty won. Andromeda won. Oblivion won. God, that was kind of obvious. Athena won, Unruly beat the Anonymous BR, but that was not a shocker because Anonymous BR wasn't even in the top 20. So the only fight remaining is this one. These guys are still going at it. Uh, good luck to those teams. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget to answer my question at the beginning of this video, please. I really need to know. Come hang out with me at a socially acceptable distance on Discord or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you again.